What would you do to have the body of a teenager again? I'd kill 12 prostitutes if I could have the body I had when I was 18. That's a bit of an exaggeration. Maybe eight. Cruel love of life though, isn't it? When you're young, you have the body and the looks, but the mental capacity of a retarded cockroach. When you're that age, you're primed for three things. Eat, fuck, and play video games. Then you get older, you have all this experience and knowledge that you've built up, but absolutely no fucking energy to do anything about it. But if you're lucky enough to make billions from a pointless startup, you too can regain that youthful vigour and vitality and be able to see things through rather than just collapsing on the couch all night and watching reruns of Only Fools and Horses. Or is that just me? Well, there's a guy who has taken the idea of anti-aging to a whole nother level. In fact, such another level that he's managed to morph into something that looks like the Terminator's mum. I mean, when the photographer called him and said, uh, yeah, we want to come and get some pictures of you for this news article we're writing about you, he thinks to himself, oh good, I'll put my best shirt on then. I mean, what the frig is that? He looks like he's in the future army, fighting a band of rogue aliens with the help of a little tin pot that contains magic. Perhaps that little tin pot is where he keeps his dignity. Brian Johnson, 45, claims his pace of ageing has slowed by 24% thanks to, punishing, thanks to a punishing daily routine. Well, if you ask me how old he is, I would have said about 45, so he's kind of failed there. Um, but let's just do the maths. 24% off 45 is actually 35. Sorry, 34. But he looks older than 34, so he's chatting Billy Bollocks there. To follow this geezer's regimen, you need $2 million a year, which is about the average price of a train ticket anywhere in England. So if you can forego your trip to work, you too can have the body of an 18-year-old. It says, Mr Johnson is at the forefront of a new war on ageing, in which Billy in which billionaires and celebrities are trying to turn back time. I'm afraid that that's a war you're just never going to win, is it? Death is always going to win, eventually. Anyway, I wouldn't want to live forever. I'm miserable enough as it is. I don't want to prolong this. However, he has taken it to another level, employing an army of 30 doctors and experts in what he calls Operation Blueprint. Operation Blueprint makes absolutely no sense. He's used two words that mean the same thing. That's like saying the plan project. I'm starting to think that this guy is not as clever as he lets on. And he's employing 30 doctors. So that explains why I can't get a bloody GP appointment. The ultimate goal is to reverse biology and to make each of his 78 organs, including his brain, heart, lungs and kidneys, medically 18 years old. Have they definitely checked he's got a brain? Also, there is a quicker and cheaper way to do this. Just go out and murder an 18 year old and steal all his organs. That to me seems a much quicker way of doing things. Um, there's always some desperate git out there as well who will just agree to it if you give his family a million quid or something. I mean, there was a guy a few years ago who sold his kidney for an iPad. So there's loads of retarded, desperate people out there. His bizarre regimen includes putting on goggles to block out blue light for two hours before bed. Fucking goggles? What is he, a fucking undercover superhero? Unless you're an Olympic swimmer, I don't think you're sane if you walk around at night with a pair of goggles on. Can you imagine what a bloody nightmare he must be to live with? If he's got a girlfriend, I feel really bloody sorry for her, because he's properly autistic, isn't he? You couldn't just sit and watch Netflix with him, could you? After like 20 minutes, he's going, ooh, too much blue light. Bloody retard. He wakes up. He then wakes up at 5am. Ooh, good for you. I get up when I wake up, me. That's one of the perks of being self-employed. And also, surely, if you have 800 million quid in the bank, you don't need to get up at 5A bloody M every bloody morning. <laughs> You've completed life. You can get up whenever you want. He wakes up at 5am and conducts an hour-long workout with 25 exercises. Ooh, 25. I mean, you've got to be uh, pretty strong if you're carrying around that massive ego all day, haven't you? He takes dozens of supplements, including creatine, and rinses his breath with tea tree oil. Or you could just use toothpaste. Following a strict vegan diet, he eats 1,977 calories per day. Imagine counting every single calorie. You'd go mental, including almond milk, walnuts, flax seeds, berries, and lots of blended vegetables. Jesus. If this was my life, forget trying to live forever, I'd have already killed myself. He recaptures his youthful skin with seven types of cream. 
along with acid peels and laser therapy, and has fat scaffolding injected into his face. What on earth is fat scaffolding? You can't be fat and a scaffolder, you'd fall off. Go splat on the pavement and disintegrate into 25 semi-digested Big Macs. I'm assuming that fat scaffolding is some kind of injection injecting fat into his face. But what's the point in that? I don't know. It appears to be working, according to his medical team, who say he now has the fitness level and lung capacity of an 18-year-old and the skin of a man aged 28. His gums have responded particularly well and are equivalent to those of a 17-year-old. Oh no, his gums are not sexually legal. You have to be 18 to have sex, don't you? Depending on where you are. Not the Vatican, obviously. It'd be legal there. So if you gave a blowjob, would that be illegal? Technically, it's from a 17-year-old. His heart, although lagging a bit behind, is doing well and he's currently aged 37. Oh fucking hell, come on Art, keep up. We've got the gums of a 17-year-old over here. You're letting the scythe down. I'm sorry, it's just all the stress of carrying this massive weight of bullshit all day long. Don't blame you. He's also launched the Rejuvenation Olympics, which 1,750 youth seekers have signed up for. Sounds a bit pedo-y, doesn't it? Youth seekers. Sounds a bit like a pedo convention. The Rejuvenation Olympics. That must be where the goggles come from. Critics have compared his extreme approach to exercises and skincare to that of the narcissistic character Patrick Bateman in Brett Easton's Ellis's novels American Psycho. The character was portrayed on screen by Christian Bale. Uh, yeah, this guy's so self-obsessed, I bet the next thing he'll do is have some ribs removed so he can suck himself off and then sue himself because his gums are too young to give, give blowjobs. But Mr Johnson explained on his website that his mission began after he sold a payment processing company for $800 million. Suddenly, he felt helpless to stop himself from overeating to soothe the pains of life, he wrote. Oh, diddums! You poor thing! You needed to eat to soothe the pain of life from making $800 million! You twat! Mr Johnson's body fat is now down to 5% and his jaw is now chiselled. Bloody hell, he's now defacing his own face with tools. At his home in Venice, California, he, says he is subjected to a daily round of blood tests and colonoscopies. I mean, that makes sense. If I was talking out of my arse all day, I'd need daily colonoscopies. Takes me on to another point that I've noticed how obsessed and narcissistic people are these days about their own health. Maybe it came from all the lockdowns. I don't know. They go to... People these days seem to go to all sorts of extreme measures to not die. But it's something that's going to happen to all of us eventually. People go to use all these extreme diets like eating flipping kale boiled in carrot broth and eat that every day so they can preserve all the essential nutrients and it's like how bloody long are you intending to live you know it's sod's law that you'll do all of that crap and you'll get hit by a bus and die at 37 and you see it all the time you know you've got these ultra runners that do like 200 miles or whatever who only eat tofu and a plant-based diet and it sounds absolutely bloody miserable and run every day then drop down of a heart attack at like 42 you know whereas i've got a great grandfather called grancher um, who I never met. He was a notorious drinker, drank a bottle of rum a day, ate whatever he wanted, massive big plates of food like this, and he worked down a mine in in a Welsh mine since he was, I don't know, yay high, uh, a kid. And uh, yeah, he smoked, drank a bottle of rum a day, cigars, whatever, and he lived till he was 98. So my advice is drink, eat whatever you like, have a bloody laugh. We're here for a good time, not a long time. See you later.